So we learned about, so far we learned about uh, how do we learn, how do you remember, right? And then we have a chapter talk about general what's psychology. Okay, so now this chapter, I picked this chapter uh, I, because I thought it's important to learn how do we grow up, how do we become who we are. Okay, for example, how do we develop socially? How do we develop cognitively? How do we develop morally? Right? How do we become able to talk? Right? And so that is a, one of the fields in psychology people they may choose to pursue called developmental psychology. And actually we have a, a class, we have a class within your psychology program, if you are in psychology, it's called developmental psychology. Okay, you learn more detail. But in this class, we kind of give you the, you know, some basic idea. Okay, so when we study developmental psychology, okay, makes sense is we know it's done about whole life. Okay, but many the folks on um, couple things. Okay, your physical development, your cognitive development, okay, and actually also the psychosocial all that, that didn't give us detail, but here, how do we become who we are? We influenced by our biology part of ourselves. We also influenced by your environment. You also influenced by your gene. Do you feel like somehow it's unfair? Yes. Right? Hedy, why you agree with me? <laughs> right? Some people take, get something, some people don't get something. Even the same sibling, even from the same parents, they, they get different look, right? They get different talent, right? And they get different heights. They get different heights, right? And but that is part is genetic, okay? Or we say disposition, okay? But same time, good thing is you have fifty percent controlled by yourself, okay? Fifty percent controlled by genetic, controlled by those you know something you have no choice, okay? but 50% controlled by yourself, okay? So if you want to improve yourself, okay, based on the 50% you already have, add another 50%, okay? And you'll be surprised. Don't just sit there and wait and say, well, this me already. Who said that, right? Who said that? Okay, so if we are, Look at human being. Okay, no matter how we look like, we all come from the same stage. We all come from the stage. These three stage. Okay, germinal stage. Germinal stage. Look at here. Did not uh, zaykadi right? Zaykadi. This is the first two weeks. We all look like this first two weeks. Okay, and then in the second stage, tympanic. Okay, then this about two weeks up to eight weeks. It looks like this. Looks like this, right? And then after eight, so then after eight weeks, okay, two months, no, two weeks to two months, looks like this. Two months after fertilization to birth, we are start to grow to grow, to grow, and to grow. So think about as a mother, okay, during this stage, if something comes in your body that you're not supposed to, then you influence their development. And I also heard actually for the, for the twin or triplet, when they split, okay, Depend on, they say, actually, if you are the identical twin, they split 
duty this time. Okay, your fraternal team, they don't split, they are two eggs, right? But if they split late, usually they start a problem. They may be joined together for some part. Okay, so I'm, I'm identical twin. Am I just so glad I'm able to just be my, be in, in a uh, complete myself? Because do you heard some twin that was born and they joined together? They share leg, you know, so when they have surgery, they have to like, this leg for you, this leg for you, and then you only have one leg, right? And that's because they are split legged, you know, so that is a, this actually is something, as a baby, you are vulnerable. Of course, some baby not able to survive. So don't you think you should be, thanks God, every day? Because you are the one to survive during this process. Even we don't know, but we are the one fighting, fighting, survive. And then see, you start to grow eyes, you start to grow ears, you start to grow nose, everything piece by piece, piece by piece, piece by piece, piece by piece. Is anybody a premature baby? See? Now, even need more things for you are full term and you come out, you know, healthy, right? So that's the first, that's our prenatal development, right? Then, this will be something, okay? So, the, you guys are all still very young. So, this will be good information when you are, you know, in the future. Be careful. So, prenatal development, you know, German missile, they can be her kid. X ray or other radiation, you know, sexually transmitted disease, cigarette, cigarette, uh, stress, and drunk. And I remember when I had my baby, <clears throat> that time, microwave just started. So, people keep telling me microwave is not healthy. It's not health condition because of radiation or something. So I kind of, I try to avoid the microwave, but right now it's microwave everywhere, right? So, but still be careful. But anyway, so that is a something during that time, you know, something you can do to protect your baby, right? Okay, how about the male? You say, okay, I'm not the one breaking my wife. And you smoke around your wife, is that good? No, because that's called secondhand smoking. That even worse, right? Okay. Now, when baby come out, you don't need to teach them. They already know how to do this. You see, if you put a hand in your baby in the baby's mouth, they are sucking your finger. It's called sucking reflex. Okay. When you hold their hand, they grab you. Called Grasping reflex, okay? When you hold their body, it looks like they want to jump, okay? It's called stepping reflex, okay? When you put your cheeks, actually they are follow your cheeks, okay? They follow your finger, okay? And they're called drooping reflex. And then sometimes if they baby easy do like this, and then if they didn't get the stuff, they cry. That's why, you know, Quite often, your, your parents let you sleep in your stomach. So they, they feel you can be more uh, calm, okay? And in my culture, we tie the baby. When they are very young, young, we tie the baby. We tie them, okay? So then, they, they, to avoid their moral reflex, okay? Okay, so this is sucking, okay? This grasping, okay? This is called stabbing. And this doing this called routine and it's called mono. Okay. And the normal baby, you don't need to teach them. They know how to do it. That's why grandma always very happy. They come and they, they hold your baby hand and then your baby hold their hands. See, she love me. See, he love me. Don't be too happy. They know. That's just natural effect. They don't even know who you are yet, right? But that's very interesting that God give us the gift 
Okay, now, how about how much they can see the baby? Visual. Actually, they are very limited in the beginning. It's kind of legal blind. They only can see 8 to 12 inches. And they prefer to see face. So if we show you face, they, are, they will start to smile. Okay? But actually, very quick, they can start to improve their visual. Okay? But they are not 100% perfect yet when they was born. Okay? They only can see 8 to 12 inches, their eyesight. Okay? How about, but they actually can distinguish the country, shadow, and ages. So if you hold them to see they are almost falling down, they are going to like cry or they are going to, you know, hold you very tight. Okay, now, smell. They develop very well from the beginning. Okay, that's why. Sometimes if the mo now the mother's holding them, they are crying, but they smell differently. Okay. How about hearing? Hearing they can is limit, but they have essential ability and they can distinguish between mother's voice and all their other mother. Okay, so if they hear the mother, baby, 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 they start to smile, milk is coming, you know, that stuff. Okay. So actually, when you do the classical condition, you can use voice, okay? So this is, hearing is limit, but they can see the difference, okay? So then, interesting, even we say, with all this, they are come with the nature, but then actually, in different culture, people raise baby in different way. People raise baby in different way, for example, uh, how about you guys in your time? Did you sleep in the stomach or in the back? When you were a baby, you don't know? In the back? Really? Okay. In the back? Is your parent tell you? Because I remember before, most American babies sleep in the stomach. So they make you, so you can see American people, their face more like, how to say, narrow here. But then Asian baby more like white. Because we mostly sleep like this. And American baby sleep with this. And also, how about practice? How many of you in the future you are going to have your baby have their own room? Your baby going to sleep in their own room. You too? Anybody? You don't? Where your baby going to sleep? With the parent. Huh? With a parent. Yeah. That's how your culture do? Yeah, yeah. In my culture, babies sleep with the, with the parent, okay? But a lot of people, like you say, sleep by themselves, okay? So it depends on some culture want to encourage baby more independent. Some culture believe baby is too dangerous for them to sleep by themselves. But some people can say that's called abuse because you can draw over your baby. They seldom happen, but that's concern, okay? How about, did you carry your baby or you want to hold your baby? You want to hold your baby? Remember that car seat, right? Car seat, you know, like, I remember when I had my baby in the hospital before, I, we check out, we need to have a car seat, otherwise they don't let us check out. And so after the baby sleep in the car seat, so it's so heavy, you need a curry, so then Hedy would rather hold the baby, right? And so there are different way of raise the baby. They eventually become the same kind of people, right? But then some culture believe we should have them as independent as early as possible. And some culture believe we just do interdependence. Well, we can wait. Okay, so it's very interesting people in different culture. And then so in the future, if you marry, even you marry people in the same culture, because you are from different family. So sometimes the couple start to fight because the way they raise the baby will be like, this is my way, I should listen to me, my way is highway, and they can fight. Okay, so before you guys have baby, 
better talk about it. But even now, I already have kids for a long time, and my me and my husband still have a different idea about how to raise a kid. So, what can you do? That's a human nature. You are from different family, and then also your parents you know, and your parents will have different opinion about the baby too, right? Okay, and then we almost. Okay, we have two minutes. Let's talk about the last one called attachment. Okay, let me show you this. This is very interesting research. Okay, look at this. Can somebody tell me what this research is about? So you see that monkey? This is a baby monkey. Okay, baby monkey. You put in the leg, and then have a two mother. They are fake mother. They are fake mother, but what's different between these two fake mother? What's the design? Where you have a bottle, milk bottle? Okay, so this mother represent physical needs. Okay, so the mother, what type of mother they provide physical needs? Right, I give you food, I give you clothes, I give you whatever you need. Okay. This mother represents psychological needs. Warm, soft, warm and soft. Okay? So then you put a monkey baby inside the lab, have two mothers like this. Which mom which which mother the baby monkey going to stay longer time? Which one? The warm, the warm. But you can see this baby is so 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 smart, right? I still want this mother, but I want milk. So you can say I hold my mother, but then let me get milk. So then looks like we need both need for fuel, but they they will if they are not hungry, they stay with this mother. You know because warm and soft, right? And so they based on this research. They come out the idea, say attachment, attachment. You know, so then one character between baby and mother is attachment. Okay, so you can see baby. You can see this picture very often. Is an attachment. Is anybody you still have the attachment needs with your parents? Right, you still want to find your mommy. Right? You still want to find your parents, right? That attachment. But then some attachment, they are very healthy. That means when they, even they separate, they still have very good relationship. And they can separate very smoothly. But sometimes if kids are very insecure, then the attachment can be very hard. Okay, so then there will be the issue. If babies live with the parents, are they going to be more satisfied with attachment or not okay and then we can talk about this next time any question before i stop okay so then i see you next monday okay